there, welcome over here to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you some brand new dump and go slow cooker recipes. It is fall now, so so many people are pulling out their slow cookers just to make dinner time extra easy. I really hope you enjoy this video and let's go get to my kitchen and start cooking. We're going to begin today with a classic easy one, chicken and gravy over mashed potatoes. So to begin in my slow cooker, I'm adding one can of cream of chicken soup. Next, add one tablespoon of brown gravy mix. I used reduced sodium. And then after that, add in one tablespoon of ranch seasoning mix with three fourths cup of water and then whisk this until it is smooth. The last thing I'm doing is adding my two large chicken breasts in. I am making sure that the chicken breasts are coated in the mixture. This goes on low for about five to six hours or until the chicken is completely cooked through. At this point, your chicken should be super duper shreddable. So just go ahead and shred it up with two forks and then it is ready to serve. Of course, I serve mine over a big bed of mashed potatoes, but you could serve yours over egg noodles or any way you would like to serve it. This chicken and gravy is so simple to make and my entire family really does love it. Now we're making Frito pies and if you've never made Frito pies before, you really need to. They are so good. To my pan, I added one pound of ground beef along with one onion that I diced. Cook this ground beef through and then once it is cooked through, remove any excess grease. It really can't get any simpler than this. We are going to toss everything into our slow cooker now. The cooked ground beef. Next, add in about eight ounces of tomato sauce, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of drained and rinsed pinto beans, one can of chili beans, and then after the chili beans to give this extra flavor, I added in two tablespoons of taco seasoning, along with a dash of garlic powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and then I gave this a really good stir. After I placed the lid on top, this went on low for about five to six hours. Here it is after the five to six hours, it's time to assemble our Frito pies. So I have a little bit of Fritos on the bottom of my plate. I'm going to be adding a couple scoops of the mixture that we made up. And then you could really make these your own at this point. You could add whatever toppings you like on top, but I kept it simple just doing a little bit of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, iceberg lettuce, cherry tomatoes, and sour cream. If you've never had Frito pies, like I said previously, you really need to try these. I think you'll love them. If you know me, you know one of my all-time favorite soups is minestrone soup. So to get this started, I'm slicing my four stalks of celery, four large carrots, and I diced one onion into smaller pieces. Now over to my slow cooker, I added in two cans of diced tomatoes. Next, add in two tablespoons of tomato paste, followed by a fourth a cup of sliced sun-dried tomatoes. And then for the broth, I'm adding in four cups of veggie broth. Now we're adding in all of the veggies that we just cut up. And then after that, add in two bay leaves, one teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried rosemary, and then a dash of salt and pepper. Give this a really good stir. You will cook this minestrone soup on low for about seven to eight hours. After those seven to eight hours of cooking, your house should be smelling so, so good at this point. So go ahead and remove the two bay leaves that we stuck in earlier. Nobody wants to accidentally eat one of those bay leaves. Now you'll be adding in one can of drained and rinsed kidney beans and white beans, one diced zucchini, three cups of fresh spinach, one cup of frozen green beans, and then a cup and a half of dentellini pasta. Stir this well and then cook this on high for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the pasta is tender. Mm -hmm. 
Here's my big bowl of soup. I topped mine with a little pinch of Parmesan cheese. Minestrone soup has so many different vegetables in it. It is so healthy and hearty. This is by far one of my all-time favorite meatless meals. Now we're making these sweet and sour barbecue chicken drumsticks. To begin, on my cutting board, I'm cutting these veggies into larger chunks. One green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, and one onion. Now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to set these vegetables to the side and into this smaller bowl, I'm adding one cup of barbecue sauce along with a half a cup of chicken broth and then I'm going to whisk this well. After I added my five chicken drumsticks to the bottom of my slow cooker, I added all of the vegetables that we cut up right on top. Now I'm pouring the barbecue sauce mixture on top of that. The next thing you will do is add one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple with the juices. Give this a stir and then cook this on low for about six to seven hours. After my chicken was through cooking, I served it over a big bed of white rice with plenty of the veggies and the sauce that the chicken was cooking in. You seriously cannot knock this recipe and until you try it. The chicken was fall apart tender, it had phenomenal flavor, and it is a hit in our home. Everybody needs a good taco soup recipe for the fall, so I really think you'll love this eight can chicken taco soup. To the bottom of my slow cooker, I added a can of drained and rinsed pinto and black beans, one can of diced tomatoes, a can of corn, the corn and diced tomatoes both were drained, one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of green chili enchilada sauce, a can of chicken broth, and then for the actual chicken for this recipe, I used a 16 ounce can of chicken. I did drain the chicken, or you could boil up chicken on your own and shred it, whatever you prefer. The very last thing I'm adding in is one packet of taco seasoning, and then you will stir this. This will go on low for about five to six hours. I topped my soup with plenty of cheese, sour cream, tortilla strips, cilantro, and cherry tomatoes, but you could top your soup with seriously whatever you love. I really do think you'd enjoy this taco soup. It's so simple to make. Now we're making these extremely flavorful boneless pork chops and rice. So to begin, on the bottom of my slow cooker, I added four medium thick boneless pork chops. Next, go ahead and add in one can of cream of mushroom soup, two cups of chicken broth, one cup of water, and then to give this extra flavor, I added in a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder, a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, and then stir this. The last thing I'm adding on top is about five tablespoons of sliced butter. This will cook on low for about six to seven hours. After that time is up, remove the lid and shred your pork chops. I'm shredding them with two forks just in the slow cooker like this. Now it's time to add in our two cups of uncooked long grain white rice with one cup of water. Stir this and then put the lid on top. Let this cook on high for 45 minutes or until the rice is tender. Now that our rice is fully cooked, I'm going to give this a stir to fluff up the rice. At this point, you'll want to add in one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and let the cheese melt down. I actually ran out of cheese, so I totally skipped that step. But anyways, here's my plate of food. Everything had wonderful flavor, and my daughter, who is two, could completely devour this meal. It's that good. I hope you found a slow cooker recipe for yourself today and I have so many more videos like this on my channel so make sure you're subscribed down below the video so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.